the, I just lost the word, for the quality and the quality in terms of how much of a substance is in the Good morning. Happy Friday. TGIF, my friends. Welcome to the Daily Now. My name is Tara and I am your host. Today we are going to do some swatching and a mani. So it's going to be a long one. Hope you guys are up to it. Okay. So when you do a qualitative test, your Hi, Patty. Thanks for the like. <laughs> You're on the road. So I have a bunch of swat, uh, carbon nail dips to swatch. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to do a mani. Thing is, I am so in fall Manny mode, and most of these colors are summer colors. There's a couple that could work. I was originally just going to do a red and white Manny with um, some cherry sticker nail art. I did already do a cherry Manny, so, but I got these stickers. So I was going to do that. Look at my two accent nails. Yes. As you said, a quantitative analysis uh, is determined what so much what to swatch. Is <laughs> this is like the Barbie collection, and then there's some other dips in here. Because it's chemical, purity is an important factor. Fairy like lights, drugs, huh? Pure, Let me see about this one. Pure. It says dip liquids you know, only on it. Tested a this is the first time that I've identified nicotine. I have to get this off. I, How are you uh, feeling, Patty? Uh, I have identified nicotine in past analysis. How are you feeling? Again, it wasn't necessarily important to the case. So just to give you an example, as I testified earlier, your dad's still I doing better. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's like a super shimmery. I want to use that. That's gorgeous. Ooh, maybe I'll use this. And then what kind of nail art could we do? So pretty. Gorgeous color. Ooh, I got this like couple, like maroonish, purpley flat. Let's swatch it and see what it looks like. I was planning to swatch all these dips today. One of them I've already used, and it's called Beach House, and it says pink holographic flaky dip. It's gorgeous. This is the one I used in my Barbie Manny when we went to the movies. Morning, Tara. So we got some cryo nails to swatch. We're going to do that. And then, oh, um, I think pretty soon she's going to start selling jelly tips. So she sent me some of their stiletto, but they're called Teardrop, I think. Um, but I don't know that she, they're on the website yet. I think she, I'm not sure. I do not know whether it is or not. I only have a reference. What, fairy lights? It's so gorgeous. I think I want to use that one today. Okay, the reference standard that you received. Where did you get that? So, that's it. Having the reference collection at the FBI last week. Know how it's, it's so so pretty. There's a lot of dips here. She sent me a lot this month. Two, four, six. Well, for August. Eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I need four more sticks. I might have to start a second. Watering. Let me see. I have some room off left on this we can use. I haven't even used this dip yet either. It's super cute. Flower power. I could speculate that it was open to like that one. Because typically with the chemicals that we have, want a twin tara? They'll have a plastic seal around the What can we do for like a nail art or pairing though? All right. If you're not busy, and I know I acted like this morning about the nail piece leaves when I'm like, I'll have money Sunday or Monday. I was thinking about me because I only get money once a month. Um, like not even thinking that you have fucking stuff to do too, you know, I'm sorry. I just assume like you're sitting around just waiting for me to order. <laughs> 
All right, so let's number all these and everything. Degrade in this context, I would say I is way down. Are fairy to lights. I definitely want to get that swatched. Thank you. You're welcome. I might not swatch all of them. I might just swatch like swatch some. I don't know. We'll see. Now you said the FBI does not do quantitative tests. If I said that, that was kind but of... But I definitely want to swatch right, fairy right. lights. It looks just like right out now, from outside the jar. It looks almost like a maroon. Correct. And the but then you that open I it. In, which is general chemistry. It, the shimmer is insane. But for example, our toxicology... All right. Let, so I apologize let's do a little pink Corvette. And not specific to my discipline. Thank you. So if the request had been made... So if the request had been for a quantitative analysis, it would have gone to someplace else in the FBI and not to you. No, I would have had a communication with the. I'm just. Um, I ha unfortunately, I didn't have, have time to prepare the swatch sticks or the labels. And if they were looking um, let's do Prince Charming. Some of them say dip liquids only, some don't. For this analysis. So no matter how the LAPD initiated a request to the FBI for Prince. a quantitative test, the FBI would never do a quantitative test. Charming. They would ask for one of the solids we got. Oh, this one's really pretty. Pool party. A different FBI laboratory. No, at a different laboratory. So the FBI would not do a quantitative test for the Los Angeles Police Department on this particular item? That is well, we got Princess okay. here. It looks Are like a pink right? holographic right. letter. Let's open it. Operations so manual can see. And standard operating procedures, which include the FBI approved standards for testimony and report language. Utilized Don't want to really use my nails yes. to do these. And you're aware that the defense was supplied with a copy of that? Yes. And as outlined in the chemistry there we go. How are you guys today? I know, Tara, I told you Patty's driving right now. She's on her way back. Oh, you did, Patty? You have fairy lights? You know that it says, quote, an examiner may not report the purity of... You need, like, 70 dips you need to have that are on the cryo-site? Other chemicals, as long as... Princess, let's see. It's pretty, so it's a fine and small glitter. Yes. Now, in order to do, do you know how one would go about doing a validated quantitative measurement on items that the library identified as nicotine? And what's it called? Princess. Not have methods that are quantitative. You know, I mean, so we'll, let me get a different marker. This one's like faded a little. Do you know what a lethal dose of nicotine? This is, is better. I do not. I got that trial on again. The uh, Hollywood sex therapist who got murdered. Princess in 2020. The trial that was now. I don't recall. Did you later become aware of that? No. And then we got Fairy Godmother. Many testing done by the LAPD on this particular item. As I stated, I may have known in the beginning of the back in July of 2020, but I don't recall. What is cotonine? I do not know. Do you know what the three, metabolites three, of nicotine are? Three. The then I have Pandora. I do not do any testing of the control that appears up on the screen right now to see whether or not it was, in fact, 99% pure. You guys know my um swatching. How I swatch is that I number all of my dips, and then I put the same number on the swatch stick that the dip is swatched on. I don't know if I'm gonna swatch that one either right now. So right now I'm putting aside pool uh, beach ball, and this is a medium chunky glitter Barbie's bikini because I don't think I'm gonna be using those, or I don't think I'm gonna be using beach house today. Let's do Barbie's Jeep. That's purple. I got there's a few purples in here. I might need a pink to match. I have tons of other cryo dips that we can match with. I can match with. Thank you. 
Fairyland, that's pretty. Thank you for uh, helping us. Fairyland. And then, so see, I have the number on the dip, it's coordinating number here. Um, and if I still used my Airtable app, um, it would really help me to find dips even more. But I pretty much like all my cryval dips are together, all my dipnotic dips are together, my color my world dip, you know what I mean? My rebels are pretty much, well, they're in rebels, take out multiple drawers, all my luxies together, all my double dips, everything's all together. Uh, there you are, Chastity. Jeez, it's been so long. I've been dying to know what's going on with you. Hi, Michelle. Ooh, we got almost everybody here. Crews on working their way in. Good morning and happy Friday, ladies. So I'm swatching, getting ready to swatch some um, Cryval Nails dips. And then we're going to do a Manny. I don't know if I'm going to swatch all of them. Right now, I'm just um getting my swatch sticks ready. Magical enchantment. This one looks really gorgeous. It's a chunky glitter. Mix, but oh, the color is beautiful. Residues, so yellow, I'm dying to see what that looks like on a swatch stick. Of the item two syringe, a barrel, what did I say? Magical enchantment. Oh, that's a long one to write out. Residues of delta dash magical tetrahydro cannibal. So, anybody, I think a tower is the only one I told, but Patty is even though she's got COVID, she's starting to feel a little better today. So She's driving herself back to Alabama. She's here, but she's driving. So, um, she's on her way back home. You know, when you're sick, you want to be home, you know? The FBI returned to the LAPD the syringe that they had identified on the FBI laboratory number 2020-00954 as item Custody, one really? and two vials related to the analysis of that syringe. The FBI well, we're here for you. you. I wish you. I wish you should have reached FBI out. I wish you had, or I wish I had reached out to you. But I knew, like, um, how's Jacqueline? That's my main question. My main concern. And then this one is called Barbie. And I think I'm going to leave these ones. <laughs> well, I might as well make the swatch sticks, right? Beach House. I used this one in the Barbie Manny I did last weekend when we went to the movies. It's beautiful. My name is Daniel Fisick. Spelled D-A-N-I-E-L. And then these two are also from the Barbie collection. This one's Barbie's bikini. And then this one is Beach Ball. This is a fun glitter. Okay. You wouldn't have told me. She's good. She's home. Why are you fighting with the school? Do they not want to let her take them? Isn't that like a law? I'm going to put these ones off to the side because I'm not going to swatch them right now. Yeah, what's that one? Beach House. Okay. So just those three I'm going to put off to the side, but we got like 15 dips or something to swatch. 
Oh, I have one extra swatch stick I took out. How, how are you and Sean? Is everything okay with you too? Is something going on with that? Is that why you've been feeling down or something? I think I gotta open a new thing of cupcake liners. I want to draw your attention back to the date of February 15, 2020. Uh, what was your assignment on that date? I got the cutest earrings, you guys, from Timu. Look, they're maple leaves. What does that mean that you were assigned to Hollywood Patrol? Um, Super cute. Seriously, they were like 97 cents or something. And did you receive a call sometime around 1.14 in the morning? And what was the information that you received? All right, let's see. I pull up the one called Barbie, which I think is this pink here. And did you have a partner that day? Ooh, this is and a fine glitter. Other than a streaming woman. Um, from what I recall, no, it was just a streaming woman at a residence. And did they give you an address to go to? Yes, it did. And where were you? Oh, you that's nice. Uh, I was at you had a property date night to go watch the tough truck competition at the county fair. Uh, that must see, have been uh, fun. Approximately four, four to five miles. Uh, was it rowdy? How did you get to 2086 Mountain Street? Um, I don't remember my exact uh, route of travel, uh, but we did use a GPS. Uh, it was confusing in the hills. Uh, did it take you a few minutes to get up there? Yes, sir. And why is that? Um, during the time of night, um, it was... Uh, I just want to make sure it's dry before it went off. The hills. Um, and initially, initially, we did not use uh, GPS because we believe we knew how to get there. And when we took a wrong turn, we uh, used navigation to... Get All right, and of course we're in a lake flat. You can see it's you know somewhat bare from pouring over, and it's it's a glitter, but it's a matte glitter. So it's not a shimmery glitter or a sparkly glitter. It's a matte glitter. Very cool. Oh, that's pretty. And that's called Barbie. My Carnival Nails discount code is Tara15, but right now she's having a Labor Day sale. I believe it's 30% off of everything. So take advantage. I mean, her prices are already incredibly affordable. So to save 30%, that's like a steal. I might go shopping. <laughs> there was a car and a minivan too. So what do they do? A tough truck? Are they are they racing? Barbie's Jeep. It's one of these purples. Here it is. Oh. My windows are open. Has a coffee? Somebody doing something right outside my window. Oh, my Luxie nail is out for delivery. My Memento Mori collection. I was tempted to use that, but I've done a bunch of Luxie Manny's over the last week or so. So, um, as much as I'm tempted, I think I'll hold off till maybe even late September if I can to use that trio. <clears throat> Brandis did a beautiful job uh, with the Manny for that. Oh, this has a shimmer. Oh, this is really pretty. All right. So it looks light purple and I see like little sparkles. So it's not like a shimmer like um, we saw with fairy lights. Oh, let's we should swatch that one next because that's the one I'm really excited to see. Oh, there's bull riding too. 
Nice, Tara. You got the sub box. Oh, they got to run a course with jumps. Like they go up hills and then it's like a, like that. Like there's ramps or whatever. That must have been fun. Because it's country like that there. <laughs> I've never seen an episode of Yellowstone. But I know it's Kevin Costner and stuff. I used to have a big crush on him when I, in my young teens, when he was like super famous, like uh, starring in all the movies as the leading man, you know, during his Robin Hood days. And the movie he did with Whitney Houston. What movie was that called again? He was her security guy or whatever. During this time. The hell, why can't I think of the name of that movie? I know some of you, one of you guys knows what movie I'm talking about. Kevin Costner, Costner and Whitney Houston movie. So it's, uh, from that particular time zone, you have to calculate what First one wins, gets a prize. I mean, first one says it gets a prize, but I'm just kidding. I don't know. So then would this be well, I'll uh, gift you guys. Uh, in the morning. Correct. A couple dips or something. So instead of that nine, you have that one. Part of my tips. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I was, yes. Thank you, Chastity. Oh, Tara got it first. All right, Tara, for winning, I'll share that very glamour, glamour collection with you. Okay. Is that a deal? <laughs> no, I got to give you something else because I already said that. <laughs> I'll hook you up. <laughs> Pandora. Another purple. Nice labels. I like how she folds them over. Usually I can grasp them pretty well, but I'm having a hard time today. If you don't know what I'm talking about, she folds the label over to the underside so it's not just stuck on the side of um, the jar. So you can at least pull it off a little easier. Okay, this looks like I have light purple solid. Before we move on, look at page five, line four. Uh, did this gentleman tell you that he My neighbor's me? trunk was open all night. I noticed this morning it was open. But, um, he lives like diagonally from me up on the third floor of an apartment or second floor and I just I don't know him that way so I wasn't gonna go knock on his door and let him know. He saw it and I, I'm sure he saw it this morning when he went down to leave. I think this is still yeah it's not set yet. Okay. Do layer number two. It's a little sheer and um, a couple spots. But two layers is definitely going to give full coverage. Pretty color. I had a super hard time deciding on what I wanted. I always just pick from like whatever's new, you know what I mean? So I can promote the newest releases. All right, let's put that off to the side. It's a little bit of a different shade, too. So this one's Pandora, and I had already swatched Barbie's Jeep, right? So here's Pandora, and here's Barbie's Jeep. You can see the difference in the shade. Some of these could be glows and thermals, too. I'm not sure. <laughs> like, for some reason, does this one have a thermal? No, I don't think so. I'm leaving my fingerprints on it, though. It's 
grab another cupcake liner. Magical enchantment. Oh, I want to do this one. Yeah. Wait till I show you guys this glitter. If you don't know it. Barbie's Jeep clothes. Let's say. I think it does. Yeah. Oh, I can. It's already glowing. Just after a couple seconds under there. Wow, that's a bright glow too. It glows. It's purple. Really bright. That's a nice one. Hmm. You have that one, Tara. Do you want a twin today? Do something in twin? Or no? Let me know. So yeah, magical enchantment. Look at this one, you guys. How gorgeous that is. So anyway, my landlord's wife. She's definitely like in her 50s or maybe early 60s. She's here mowing the lawn. She was like right outside my window a little bit. But now my neighbor is also mowing his lawn. So that's what you hear right in a second. This is super pretty too. Oh, uh, maybe magical and enchantment with one of these purples with Barbie's Jeep. You have magical enchantment, Tara. This one here. This is gorgeous. want to press make sure everything's pretty flat okay it looks pretty good Fran just sent me a picture of one of my exes he was over their, their house I guess uh, over the weekend or yesterday maybe she said I forget but anyway um his face he looks exactly the same except he's got gray, a gray beard you know exactly the same he hasn't grown any taller since the last time I saw him either. <laughs> you do want a twin? All right, awesome. All right, well, I mean, I'll swatch the ones I said anyway, and we'll figure it out from there. Make sure this is, I'm going to brush it off over my uh, wastebasket here. I was concerned. Okay. Awesome. Let's do a full um, dip now. Because we have very limited information. Um, and this has um, um, all different size um, glitters um, in it, but they're iridescent uh, with like all pink and purple. Uh, and then like um, blue. blue. But. Hmm. Under light like this, it mostly looks pink and blue, the iridescence, you know. Damn, that's loud. It's nice out. It's like going to be a high of like 73 or 75 or something, but it's nice and cool. So it's perfect. You don't need the AC on, got the windows open, you know. I just can't stand all the this stuff when I'm live the mowing of the lawns michelle you're quiet who's the person that appears to be leading does anybody have plans this weekend i don't really have anything major planned it'd be nice to cook on the grill since it's labor day weekend and then tuesday is like um an election day for us i don't know if it is for you guys um, so there's no school because voting, the voting places in our city are at the schools. So, um, there's no school Tuesday either. So Dominic's got a nice long weekend. All right. Sorry, this was itchy. Look at how pretty this is. So that's called Magical Enchantment. Back it up a little under the light. Seven minutes and ten seconds. Super pretty. Is that your boy saying uh, he's having a seizure? Yes, sir. So tell the jury if you can't see it on the body one. What, what did you observe at that point? So I uh, observed uh, her, her head was tilted to the left. 
kind of just kind of tucked uh, in her left shoulder. Um, and she had very shallow breaths. Let's do this um, one. Glass slippers. There was also blood coming from her mouth. And her eyes were uh, sort of rolled back. And you mentioned your seizure. This one looks really pretty from uh, the It's a shimmer. Like the light is pale pink. Looks like so light, it's almost white. Have you ever seen someone have a seizure? Yes. How many times? Um, well over 30 times. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, did she respond to you or your partner when you were asking? Uh, no, sir. What a delicate color. Maybe it's white. No, it's like a pale pink. Slight shimmer, it looks like. Okay, let's do a second layer. Why, why do you have your guns drawn at this point? Uh, based on the um, information provided by the um, gentleman who lived there. Uh, her, uh, That's a pretty uh, color. And that one is um, called glass slippers. I bet this. I wonder how this would look like chromed over a darker colored dip or something, you know? It might give it like a pearl chrome. There's so much shimmer in there, too. I'm gonna get rid of that one. All right. Pool party. Let's do pool party, this uh, blue one here. Coming little by little. The seal, that's gorgeous. So it's a blue glitter with like green reflex. Trying to get everything done before work. You got a busy day ahead, I'm sure, huh, Michelle? Yeah. Uh, my partner at the time uh, requested an ambulance. I have a busy day ahead too of doing laundry, dishes. But that's what I do in the afternoon. Once the live is over, I usually chill for a while, wait for Dominic to get home. And then we'll talk, what well, we've been talking about his day, you know what I mean? Or oh, we'll play basketball or badminton or something. And then we come in and then I do the dishes and start making supper. And that's like my, our typical routine, you know, that's how I normally do it, but we'll see. <laughs> it's a big new year. He's old enough to make his own food. <laughs> so you can see not much glitter is actually on here because I um, poured over. There's a good amount of acrylic in this one. I can see it. So we'll lay flat now for dip number two. All right, we're doing twinkle lights next, or fairy lights next. So I gotta say with the mix of the acrylic in this one, I think this is intended to almost be like a sheer glitter. Um, based on uh, my point of view. That's my heard, guess. Uh, they will tell better once I, uh, yeah, it's wet. I don't want to wipe it. All right. Fairy lights. Oh yeah, I already opened it. And was the TV on in that one? It was. Oh my, oh my. This thing has a silver shimmer. Do you guys see the silver in the lid there? Look at that. <laughs> Patty, how are you doing? 
are you driving right this moment? I hope I told her to, you know, take frequent stops and rest and stuff. Stay hydrated, all that. Oh my goodness. You've already used this tip, Tara? I'm going to turn right. Carmen, you come with me. Oh, holy. Look at that. I don't know what I'd pair with this, though. Wow. This is gorgeous. I wonder what it would look like. I wonder if it would chrome silver. He may have started as a poor kid in Pawtucket, but gave Obama made it to the White House, working for President Obama and President Biden. And if they trusted him to protect Social Security, Medicaid, abortion rights in our community. Yeah, you're really protecting that stuff for us. I don't think I'm voting Tuesday. Well, I'll probably vote Tuesday. I don't know that if I'm going to vote in the presidential election. I don't think either of them deserve my vote. This is amazing. Amazing. Look at that. I have to put the light up so you guys can see. OMG. That's incredible. Fairyland. It's the hardest part getting the label off. All right. This is gorgeous too. Purple, uh, looks like a purple um, holographic glitter, fine glitter. Did your nails truly come yesterday, Tara? Mine didn't. I didn't get any nail mail. Oh, it's not dry. Whoopsie. All right, I think it's okay. Okay, now. I didn't brush hard either. I was pretty gentle. Let's do dip number two. This one's called Fairyland, you guys. I gotta say, Holly is super generous when it comes to... Um, what she gives her ambassadors, you know, for us to promote um, Melanie at Detnotic, also very generous. That's a beautiful purple. I love that shade. Get all these pretty purples. Yeah, so looking at this, this looks like a jelly type glitter. See how you can see my thumb right through it. Oh, I missed some comments. Hundred and twenty thousand. Wow, good for you.
That's pretty incredible. And you got a vehicle too. <laughs> it's not like you have to walk. All right. Let's do Prince Charming, which is another pur light purple. There we go. I believe it to be uh, black tar heroin. Uh, something similar yesterday. Okay, it looks like another um, light purple solid here. What can we? Oh, I got glitter all over my brush. Oh yeah. I'm sure it's all in my base now too. Here she is when I'll find my window again. Seventy-five thousand in a day, Tara. That's insane. How can you do? Wow. I observed a semi-dried puddle of what I believe. All right, let's do there number two. Hopefully this brush is better. Just outside the bathroom, partly in the bathroom, due to the smell as well. Oh, I see a glitter in here. Okay. Oh, I see more than one. Well, based on the smell, you believe it's the urine? Yes, sir. Is there liquid also there? Yes, sir. Some yeah. of those little glitters that I got yes, on my brush are in here. Sticky also. Correct. So you're, you're very you believe it's the urine. All right. Yes, I think I got them all. Ah, uh, of course it's wet. That's Prince Charming. Another, it's a different shade of purple. This is, I would say, Pandora is more like a periwinkle. Look at them compared. So here is um, Prince Charming, and then here's Pandora, and then here's Barbie's Jeep. Substance, uh, okay, that uh, is possibly taking it and under the influence and possibly trying to end her life. Okay, we have three more to um, swatch. Let's do little pink Corvette. This is well, obviously it's from the Barbie collection. I don't know what the other ones are from the Prince Charming and uh, Pandora and like uh, magic, magical enchantment and glass slippers. If there was like a Cinderella collection before or something. This is a really cool glitter. So it's pink, but it's got like purple flashes. There's one dip of it. I missed the side over here. We'll get it now. Okay. Laying this 
swatch and the cupcake liner nice and flat super pretty I would that would look cute sugared Okay, let's do um, Fairy Godmother, and then we'll do Princess. The Storybook Collection. Mallory's here? Hey, how was your vacation, Mallory? Saw your pictures and videos and stuff. You went back to that um, indoor swimming place there? I thought maybe you were in Florida. Because I saw you post something with a palm tree. So I was thinking somewhere. Ooh, this color is really gorgeous, too. Oh, I love it. What can we pair with? What did you guys pair with fairy lights when you used it? Barbie's Jeep is super cute, too. We could do Barbie's Jeep with Fairyland and mix two collections. Or Little Pink Corvette with Barbie's Jeep. As it has, this pink has purple flashbacks, Tara. And then we could do some type of nail art, maybe. I have Barbie decals, but... I don't know, what do you think? I've missed you, Mallory. Yes, the Wisconsin Dells. I'm sorry, I always forget the name. We've missed you. Did you guys post your nails truly, Manny's yet? Chastity, you saw my Manny and the double dipped chat. I drew those blood drips. I painted them, I mean. I'm super proud of myself because I, I was always too afraid to try it. It was super easy with gel polish and a liner brush. Now, are you trained to look? To arrive at a certain situation and determine whether this is gorgeous. Yes, sir. And it's a pale pink. Yes, sir. And are you trained to uh, so so pretty? First aid whenever possible. Yes, sir. As part of that training, could you recognize when someone has sustained? Thank you, Chastity. Yes, I was so proud of myself. I wore that mani for as long as I could, and I'm like, I can't wait to do more blood drips as you know for Halloween. Yes, Man, uh, Mallory, you've been putting out um, some super cute mannies um, too. Not move her. Um, due to the belief that Leo's getting big, going in his own tube down the lazy river. How adorable. Super cute. And then going down the slide, landing in the little pool of water. I loved it. I love that stuff. It just like warms my heart, you know. All right, we got one more dip to swatch, and it is Princess. And it looks very similar to Fairy Godmother. Well, so far in the jar, anyway. We'll see how it swatches. Very tightly. Splitter on my brush. Right in the center of it. It's not coming out. Yes, her, uh, her, oh my god, it's still there. Her, uh, All right, I got it. Her chin was tucked underneath her left shoulder very tightly. Her shoulders rolled, rolled forward. Um, I waited so long. We'll be lucky if any of it sticks. Uh, Based on that. 
All right, so this is a little different. I can tell already that this is a holographic light pink and this is not a holographic. And this is fine and small glitters. I think the ratio is different. I think there's less fine, more small glitters in here, more fine glitters in this one. Go away. Oh my god, he's putting all the grass in the back of his pickup truck. My landlord. I mean, not my landlord, my neighbor. One of my neighbors. My, we use the back entrance. So when I, and I'm sitting right next to our door so I can see out. And I can see the backyard of one of two other people. I can't see my yard. It's over that way, like that way, <laughs> you know, and there's no window facing that way. Um, there's another apartment on the other side of me, that's why. It's a, th where I live, there's three apartments. One is a townhouse style, so she's got the upstairs and downstairs, but it's like not half the house, it's like less than half the house. And then we have about two thirds of the bottom of the house and the people. And then there's an apartment above ours, which has the top. But it used to be a single family home. There used to be a uh, in-ground pool here too, but not anymore. As the mail, mailman hasn't come unless he, I unless I only got Luxy today and he just left it in the mailbox. I don't know. Okay, we'll let that dry. All right, Tara, did you answer me? Do I have a red reflective or a red glow? I don't think I have a red glow, but I do have a red reflective glitter. Total eye lift from Clarence. A form Why, what are you thinking? Origin, powered by organic arangana as it has to be. Wrinkles look smooth. A visible eye lift in 60 seconds. Mm. Clarence total eye lift. Naturally powerful This is still wet. This is the one I swatched two dips ago. I mean, I swatched this one after this one. All right, let me brush this off. Wow, that's insane, that one. This is super gorgeous, too. So what do we want to do? Tara, what do you want to use? Do you want to do Barbie's Jeep with little pink Corvette and some nail art on the purple nails? Or do you want to do Fairyland with Prince Charming or Fairyland with Pandora? I think it will work with either. Or we can do, um, I was trying to like, to map keep collections together, you know what I mean? I would want to pair this with a purple. Fairyland with Prince Charming, beautiful pairing. Oh, you did? Wow. No, I did mine with gel. I could never, tr I've never tried it with um, dip liquids. Doesn't matter to you, you're up for anything. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I'm kind of leaning towards the Barbie one just because it's her, like one of her newest collections, you know?
but I'm obsessed with fairy lights. I just don't know what I would do for pairing with that. Do you, ooh, you know what might work with this? If you don't mind mixing colors, companies or whatever, and I know she doesn't care, Holly. Um, but pomegranate from Rebel Nail, the glitter might work with that. I don't know. Maybe we'll go with Pandora and Magical Enchantment. How about those two? I haven't seen it yet. I checked the chat yesterday too. Chastity, send me a picture of that, Manny. For some reason, I don't remember it. What do you like? This, These two, Tara? Magical Enchantment and Pandora? Do you have any Barbie decals or anything like that? I'll show you mine. It's on Insta, yeah. You got one in your ambassador swag from Nails Truly? This? Tara, are you telling me you have this a uh, Barbie your Barbie decals? I'm gonna put my peel. Oh, we gotta activate and stuff too. Maybe I won't even do anything right now with these. Yeah, like, you know, like I normally do. I just leave them and do it later. Oh, the Halloween. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't get any Halloween colors. And I didn't start with Privil till the beginning of this year, like in January or something. It was winter colors anyway, so I don't have any fall from Privil. Nothing. All right. So we said Magical Enchantment and um, Prince Charming. No, Pandora. No, wait. Oh, oh it's your team, man. Oh, okay. That's why. All right, Magical Enchantment and Pandora. Oh my God, it's so loud. I can't even hear the TV. Oh, I would get up and shut the window, but it's multiple windows in here that I have open. I don't want to. It's nice, nice uh, air coming in and stuff. It feels good. Well, the glitter on my nail. Hold on. Take this back. It's flat, whatever it is. Hi, right, there we go. I was originally going to do a cherry mani with cherry parfait and coconut vanilla from Cryville Nails, but I thought it would be better to do like something new releases or something.
Yeah, she always sends out the gas stuff uh, first. You're right. Got some red up in here. Um, all right. Ooh, now we gotta come up with a design plan. All right, let me get the dips. Prince Charming with uh, magical enchantment. We could do like, um, I don't know, what do you, you got any ideas for, for um, nail art? We could do something like pink hearts or something. Oh, it was Mallory that said about the guest getting the new stuff. I thought that was, that was Tara saying that. Um, or we could keep it simple with like, I don't know, we could always do something with pearls, striping tape. Do you have any opal striping tape from Cosmic Nails? I bet that would look really pretty on the purple. Let me find mine. But you could use a different striping tape. Oh my God, I have the, that striping tape from Timu, the mermaid striping tape. Let me take a look. Oh, messing up my nails. I was digging through some old fairy glamour colors. Mallory, are you in with fairy glamour now? I sent a message on a DM to them, but never heard anything. I don't know if I told you that. I don't even think I did tell you because I didn't hear anything back. Ooh. All right, hold on. Maybe we can... Oh, yeah. We got... These are the thicker ones, but we got, like, a purple one that's, like, uh... I don't know, like, um... They call them mermaid striping tape. So the finish is like kind of bluish aqua color. And this too has blue flashbacks. So blue would be an option, I think, too. I'm going to hold on to that. And that. All right. Tara, let me know if you have any ideas for nail art to do. Okay. Yeah, Mallory. Oh, yeah, you were here. So you heard me saying how I don't have anything fall from Cryvel. Yet. Yet. What else opal do I have? I think I just have the opal snowflakes. Anyway. But then I have these ones. Well, the striping tape doesn't have to match exactly either, right? If we do use striping tape. I'm also fine, like, with stamping. Or, like I said, using pearls or gems. I wonder what colors I got in there. Oh, yeah, I got some purple. I even think, do I have purple bubble gems? Not that. I got these purple flowers, but they wouldn't be a good match. Ooh, the blue might look pretty though. Oh, I got the purple bubble gems from Cosmic. Those gems are really gorgeous. That might be my top choice for gems. These ones are really nice, too. These, these purple ones down here. The only thing with this is, like, they don't have their own individual lids. So it's just, like, two pop-ups here and the whole thing opens, you know. I feel like that's, like, asking for a spill instead of just individual parts to open. What do you think, Intara? 
All right, so I'll figure mine out and you can, uh, Oh, oh, yeah, because I get emails from their customer service girl or whatever, Katarina, Katie, and um, she'll ask me, like, oh, we have a collection releasing or uh, we have dates for our next three upcoming collections. Would you like to receive them? You know what I mean? So, like, she's the one I, like, communicate with. I don't even know the owner's name of Fairy Glamour. Is it one person? Is it two? I have no idea. I have no idea who the face behind Fairy Glamour is, you guys. So maybe, maybe bubble gems. Ooh, and then I do have these ball stickers. Super cute. It's a little porcupine, you guys. How adorable is he? And I love the leaves and stuff, the purple leaves. I love the colors on this sheet. Let me see, here's my fall stamping plates that I have. They're like stuck under other things. So let's grab them. Yesterday was so funny when I stamped the deer, I mean the fox, and I, I didn't think it came out good because I thought everything was too close together. So I redid the, did it, but didn't try a deer and I spaced it all out and it looked like like a skeleton or something. I don't know. It was really weird though, huh? Like you couldn't tell what it was. Oh. Oh. Was that the uh, Desert Sands collection or whatever? The Arabian Nights collection? I forget what it was called. Was it that one or was it the Easter one? Well, I must be on the list they got because I typically get the email. But Valerie, Val's Perfect 10, I had asked her about it when they first had contacted me about receiving stuff, you know. And she's like, yeah, I get everything. So I know they've had like some mini releases, like over the summer, they had a mermaid collection drop, um, a bride collection, but they didn't send those ones to me. You know what I mean? I think, so I'm not sure how it works. Oh, it is Tara, thank you. It is one person. I thought, oh, all right, Michelle. Yeah, I was trying to figure out the timing of how, you know what I mean? So these are my fall stamping plates, Tara. Although we're doing a purple Manny, right? <laughs> we could do, do you have any lace stamping plates? All right, let's see if we're dry. I think we are. Yep. I guess we'll do the glitter. Want to do the glitter on the index? Do the glitter on the index in the middle, and then we'll do the purple on the thumb ring and pinky so it gives us room to do nail art on the solid nails. Or we could do index pinky glitter thumb middle ring solid yeah let's do that index and pinky yeah now I'm second guessing myself
Yeah, let's do index and pinking with the glitter. So I'm going to start with Pandora, which is the solid. I have my Cryable Nails Precision tool here. Glitter. <laughs> All right. And this glitter that we're using today is a chunky glitter, so it's going to need some pressing down for sure. Dominic's been like going to bed early, clonking out, and then like waking up early, like on his own, you know, like four, even before my alarm goes off at five. Um, he's up like he got up early this morning, and, like at four, had a bowl of fruity pebbles, like he did himself and everything. I know he's 12, but usually I do that stuff when he's around. And it's not because, like, he's lazy or anything. It's, like, because I, I want to take care of him, you know what I mean? Do that stuff for him. I, you know, there are times when I'm busy when I want him to do it on, on his own. But otherwise, I enjoy taking care of Nick and Dominic like that, you know? Um. Anyway, what was I getting out? Hmm. Guys, I forgot my train of thought. Shocker. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I was talking about how he's been falling asleep early and then getting up early. Like, the last two days, he felt... Yet, two days ago, Aiden was here, here. Or three days ago, Aiden was here. And so he fell asleep right after Aiden left. And then... The last two nights. Last night he was up past supper, but the yet the day before that he fell asleep before we even had dinner, and then woke up like super early, you know, and had something to eat. Okay. Okay. So these dips are part of the storybook collection from Cryvel Now, you guys. Both dips that we're using today. Mallory, have we picked a Manny for September? Tara and Mallory, did you guys post your Nails Truly Manny's already? Glitter under my thumbnail, I can see it. There we go. Did you guys see, I don't know if you read my post yesterday, um, the fairy glamour post, the Manny with the uh, plaid nail stamping, but I like shouted all you guys out, not by handle or by name, but I shouted you guys out. <laughs> I'm still a little wet. All right, so there's one dip of Prince Charming. Now we'll lay flat for layer number two. I do have some glitters in here still. Okay. All right, let's go and do dip number two. Base coat over the entire nail, right? And then um, dip in your choice of uh, way. <laughs> I 
But if you find that, you know, you're dipping into jars or straight into the powder like that, and if your dip is not coming out smooth, um, I recommend using the pour over method when you just put your base on and then pour the dip over or um, laying flat into um, a concave liner or a coffee filter or some kind of sort of uh, bowl, you know. Um, that will help you a lot, you know, just keeping your dip smooth right from the beginning. You don't have to worry about, you know, buffing it out later. Oh, it looks good. Hardly any cleanup needs to be done. Don't you love when, like, you run into somebody from high school? And not to be, like, cavalier or, like, I have it going on or anything. But when you look, like, so much better than they do. <laughs> you know? Some people just don't age well, I guess. I'm lucky because my mother is aging well. You would never guess she's almost 70. You would never guess. Like, she looks 20 years younger, easily. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. I forgot that you do yours with videos, Mallory. I can't believe you got them all done. Nice. I haven't even gotten my Halloween decals yet. Are you talking about from Ambassador Shopping that we just did? Or are you talking about other stuff that we got? Now he's using like uh, hedge trimmers or whatever, weed whacker, so it's quieter. But I got this trap. Oh, Mallory, did you see the thing I sent you? I DM'd you on Instagram. It's Law and Crime Network's like seven most shocking courtroom admissions or something like that. It was good. So I was like, oh, Mallory will like this. So I sent it to you. Oh, this, oh, okay, Tara. I don't know why I'm pressing that now. I'm trying to get this acrylic off my skin here. Doesn't want to come off. All right. Okay, so we're all done with Prince Charming. Now we're going to use this chunky glitter mix. Magical enchantment. It is magical. <laughs> super, super beautiful. So I'm going to use the pour over method for layer number one. Probably this will not pick up a lot of glue. That's okay. I may have been wrong. I forget that Cryvel typically doesn't have a lot of acrylic in her glitters. Grab a little bag. Okay. 
This is so gorgeous. Oh my. I love it. It is so beautiful. That's just one layer. Stab myself over on the side of my pinky with the precision tool. It hurts. Okay, let's do our first um, layer of this glitter on my index finger here. Yeah, the sirens. That's one of the downsides of living on a busy road and in a city. You hear the sirens a lot. So gorgeous, holy. If you guys do not have magical enchantment, oh my god. You definitely need it. Still a little sticky on a couple spots. So that actually um, worked out really well, and it's amazing um, first dip coverage for glitter. Pouring over it, too. Okay. I'm going to lay flat now into this cupcake liner. I'll pour out the rest of the glitter. There's a good ratio of fine um, glitters to uh, larger glitters, so um, there's good, a good amount of filler glitter, if you will. Cuticle clean up. Let's see if we can press these down now without anything sticking. Okay. Still tacky. So this doesn't have a ton of chunky glitters on the top, and I wasn't trying to get a ton. In fact, they're kind of buried. If you look close, it's just um, all small glitters, pretty much. But that's fine with me. Okay, I haven't brushed this off yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to break for 45 minutes for lunch. Please do not discuss the case. Oh my god, the trial that I've been watching, too. There's one out of South Carolina. Uh... A mother and her boyfriend are being charged in the death of a 13-year-old, her 13-year-old daughter who was left in a hot car for five hours. She was um, in a wheelchair. She couldn't move and she was nonverbal. And it got to be like over 125 degrees in the car. She was left in there for five hours. Um, 
so they're on trial. But it's the same judge who uh, did Alec Murdoch's case. I've seen him a couple times since the Murdoch case. And pretty funny. Like in other cases, you know. All right. Hey, babe. You're home early. I didn't know this early. Can you get yourself in? Because I'm live. Nick's home. He did tell me he was going to be home early, but I just, I didn't know he meant he was getting out of work early today. I figured he meant like right after work. When you said early, I thought you meant like right after work. Oh, I got mail. Did you see his wife out there? Because she's been here doing the lawn. Ooh, moon dust and Lexi. I got something with no return. Well, it looks like it, the goggles I bought the home. I think I see a picture on the back. I don't know. No. No. Congratulations, dear Venom customer. Thanks so much for placing an order with Swim Goggles on Amazon. We hope you're happy with your order. To show our appreciation for your purchase, we are pleased to offer you a $10 Amazon gift card. Wow. After you shared your shopping experience. Oh. Well, I got to write a five star review. Oh, yeah. So what? So for a $10 gift card? It's like blood. So what? Yeah, well, he's happy with them. He yeah. likes them. That's all you got to say. <laughs> We, yeah, Do Nick had ordered Dominic a new pair of goggles this year for swimming because he lost his other ones or they broke or something. And so it was a letter from the company thanking him and saying if he writes a review, he'll, he'll they'll give him a $10 Amazon credit. That's pretty cool. Ah, I just got that spot again. Shouldn't have touched it. Ow. Ha <laughs> you thought that voice sounded familiar? Oh my god, he did chastity? Did you believe him? Nick's done that to me before, come home early and said he was laid off. But I never fall for it. Look how pretty it is already. All right. Okay, we'll clear encapsulate next. I have glitter all over me, stuck to me. Try and get some of it off. Less chance of uh, actually, and my glitter nails, I'm actually going to encapsulate with my glitter clear so I don't contaminate anything. Okay, if they're at a star, five star review, take a screenshot, send it to them, and then they'll email you a gift card within 48 hours. Cool. Ugh. Goes against my principles. Not if you honestly think it's a good product. It's not my product. It's not he says it goes against his principles. Because it's like a bribe. It doesn't go against my principles. Give it to me. I'll do it. <laughs> Court's on break, so it's like all quiet. Okay, so 
Happy September, too, guys, right? It's not only Together We Manny Day, but it's September 1st. And we're going to have, like, a wicked hot weekend. So Labor Day weekend is going to be super hot. Maybe we can go to Lincoln Woods if they're open. Are we going? Okay. I think we're going to the Cape Cod on Monday. On Set Beach, we usually go there every year with Nick's family. We drove last year. I don't know what it was. No, it's yeah. It's the beach that we spread Nick's dad's ashes at. So it's like a, you know, it's like a pilgrimage kind of we go to every year. Um, what am I coming over? Oh, glitter clear. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All, uh... All clear that's been contaminated with glitter is in this jar. Next week is 90s and 100. I ordered the Memento Mori Trio, Mallory. Let me open it. I just ordered sample sizes. So it's arsenic, um, memento mori, and I forget what the red one is called. Um, but they're both like really great dark colors. I'm trying to, I can't see the red one unless I open it. Let's just do that. <laughs> oh, Bathory. That's right. So it's like a red black. And then we got the, um, Memento Mori has black and red flowers and a white base. It might have white flowers, too. I'm not positive. And arsenic is a black base with green shimmer. So, um, yay, I'm psyched to use those. But I want to wait a little bit till it's a little further along in the months, like in September. Hey, Brandis. Oh, no problem. Did you get it posted? I'm doing a cribal nails mani. I'm going to twin with Tara. So it's like a spontaneous twin. We're using uh, Prince Charming and Magical Enchantment as our glitter. Tara, maybe we could use striping tape and gems. Can you think of any type of a design we could do with them using both? Oh, no, Brandis. You love that purple pink? What one are you talking about? Are you talking about this glitter? I'm not sure what you're talking about. All right. How are you today, Brandis? And if anybody else missed me asking, I'd like to hear if uh, how you guys are doing and um, if you have any plans for the weekend. For Labor Day weekend. It's all clear. That was under my pinky. Because I like smushed it down.
Okay. Time to activate. Now your shoulders messed up. Oh, is it like a purpley pink? I can't tell under this light. <laughs> I really like uh, Barbie's Jeep too, the one that glows. I don't even know if I brush these off, so let's do it. All right. Oh, you go on the farm. Oh, with the sky goats again. Awesome. I have shoulder issues too, Brandon. It's the whole left side of my body from my neck to my shoulder, to my back, to my hip. All of it hurts every day. You should try yoga. I love it. I do it every morning just about. And, um... It really helps, like, with the deep breathing and just the gentle stretching. And I watched this uh, woman on YouTube. The channel is called Yoga with Bird, B-I-R-D. And she does beginner videos. They're, like, 10-minute yoga, yoga sessions, you know. Um super easy to get you started and she has them all focusing on different parts of the body you know what i mean if it's back and hip relief you're looking for or st muscle stress relief or um neck relief or whatever it is you know she's got a video for it so i love her videos and they're only 10 11 minutes long Oh, thank God. That's great news. You got a nurse coming. I'm pull out some files. Look what came, Brandis. My moon dust. Woo woo. I'll open it after. Yeah. Right, Mallory? That's what I asked when I first heard heard of Sky Goat. <laughs> I had never ever heard that before. Brandis, tell her. Mallory loves animals. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, What's the matter? I didn't put any papers by the sink. Oh. You know what we call an emergency? I just washed my hands. Oh. So They'll dry. The They'll dry. No big deal. This step's not a therm. No, it's not a thermal, right? Okay. So I'm filing my solid nails first, you guys. Since I activated the glitter nails last, you know. Plus, they're my thickest nails. So I'll just give them the extra time to let the activator work and cure them. Although I'm sure they're cured by now. I 
I know how awesome is that. Dominic has been saying to me that he wants to pet a goat so bad. He's got this game. It's called Goat Simulator, and you're an actual goat, and, like, you can bounce on things and catch things and kill people. You can do a whole bunch of different things, but uh, ride rides. <laughs> And he likes to play it. It's one of like my most hated games to sit and watch. <laughs> I'll do that after. Right. Super easy to file these solid nails here. I wonder if we'll go apple picking this year. We have a farm not too far away. And we always enjoy going. And they have a corn maze there and a little shop where they make their own honey and um, pastries, apple pies, um, stuff like that. They grow vegetables, so it's a farm, but... Um, you can go pick your own apples at this farm. Just apples, so no strawberries or anything else. I think this pile works so much better at just getting a nice straight line to the point, you know? That looks good. Goats are fun. Oh, you guys know about Goat Simulator? All right. <laughs> yeah, Dominic loves it. <laughs> like, I made him ride the Scrambler and, like, um... And you can change yourself into, like, a penguin, a fish, like, all different things. You're not, you don't have to be a goat, you know what I mean? So he was a penguin for a while, that's so funny you guys know what it is. I forgot though, Brandish, you know a lot about games, and you do too, Tara. I'm surprised Janet's not here. She's been stressed out, so I hope she's doing all right. We got this now. Oh, I forgot to press down when I activated you guys. I didn't press down on these nails. It's still pretty smooth though. This fingernail hurts. I have to be careful. It hurts on this side, the inside of it, where I stab myself. Patty, are you still here? At least when you get home, you'll have a nice card and gift waiting from me. I'm sure Wayne has a too waiting for you <laughs> when you feel better. <laughs> yes. An underwater scuba wedding? 
That's cool. All right, let me see this file. I have a chunky glitter on the inside of my nail over here that's messing, making a pinky look wonky shaped. I'm concentrating, you guys. <laughs> this file keeps slipping on me. one. Right. Not bad. Gotta get that to look okay. Alright, whatever. Not I can do. Oh, except maybe clip out some of the glitter that's sticking up. Let's see if I can. Hmm. Where are... Aha, my nippers. There they are. Okay. Alright, that actually looks a lot better. It was like a little piece of glitter that was almost like lifted or something, but it was over here and it was like making the whole line of my nail, the shape of the nail look off. Do you guys know what I mean when that happens? Just using a 180 grit um, file to smooth this glitter now, make sure everything is good. Just get this to a nice uh, sharp point here. Oh, Mallory, we haven't started looking yet, but something could possibly happen. Um, not sure if it will. It's kind of like wait and see, but the guy who lived in upstairs in the house right next door moved out hadn't paid rent in almost a year he rented a u-haul and then put nothing in it and left and left all his stuff there and they were friends like with the owner of the house he was friends with the owner who lives downstairs it's a two-family house um so i i talked to him the other day he wants to fix it up he was thinking more like december it would be ready but if we could put it off 
put for our landlord off or he can get it done earlier. Um, well, he said he'd let me know, you know what I mean? But that would be awesome. We wouldn't even have to rent a U-Haul, you know? And it's right next door, so it's still in a good area of the city, all that stuff. smooth okay all right I'm just gonna buff real quick most of these nails really don't even need to be buffed they're pretty smooth to begin with but I definitely want to buff the solid nails Sorry, this, the table's probably shaking along with the camera. Happy with the shape. I am going to use my ergo file. Well, dust off, use my ergo file, and then we can clean off the nails and figure out what we're putting on um, the purple nails. So funny. Back when a year or two ago, I would be fine with the Manny like this. Now it's like I can't leave a plain nail. <laughs> yeah, unless it was my thumb. <laughs> Otherwise, I feel like I have to put something everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, Brandis. Thank you so much, Mallory. I know. And there's washer dryer hookups in the basement. So, you know, like that's a must have for me because there's a lot of apartments that don't have washer dryer hookups or you got to pay like their coin up laundry machines or whatever. We have our own, you know. So. Like, it's a must-have, you know. And I've been in the downstairs apartment, and it's very nice, you know. And he said the upstairs is set up the same way. He just wants to fix it up more, you know. Plus, he's got to get rid of everything that's in there. And he's been working on it. He has a job, too. He works during the day. But early in the mornings, he'll be up there. It's just been a couple of days, but I've been seeing him. Or um, at night, he's up there. like, And then he's bringing stuff out and putting it on the sidewalk. All right, you know what else I need to do is I can see some purple dip up here. So let's get rid of that. Okay. A little bit there. Okay. All right, the rest look good. Ergo file time. What's a press down jar? I offered to help. 
And actually, mo- a lot of people in Rhode Island don't charge security. Usually, well, Rhode Island, it's not a law. In Massachusetts, it's first, last, and security. In Rhode Island, it's first and last. It just depends what they ask for. But that's what the law is. But I bet he would work with us. But I did tell him that. If you want any help, I'll help you. You know what I mean? Cleaning up the upstairs. And he just was like, yeah, you know. <laughs> A fancy moisturizer jar? Okay. Oh. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about now. Do you like it, Brandis? All right. After filing and buffing, so now we can clean them with, uh, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol. You can get up and rinse your hands if you um, desire to do that. Desire. (laughs) I don't know why I chose that word. Okay. My rings always flip on me. I got fix up. All right. Super, super cute. Now, let's see about these striping tapes. I know I had another purple one. Oh, so. Probably won't stamp, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe gems and striping tape or something. Get these purple ones. Do I have pink ones? I do. The purple are prettier, though. Yeah, I don't know if those will work. And then I have these ones, a couple different shades of purple. There's this one, which are like they're like crystal, like see-through. There's a darker purple and a lighter purple. Maybe we should do it. Like, if we use gems, we should do a darker purple. I want to see about this striping tape. Hmm. Let's try it. See if I can figure something out. Maybe do a couple. This is like not sticky. Hold on. Wow, I just cut a super long piece. What do we want to do? What about something like this, Tara? 
Hold on, let me trim. Oh, I used purple. I was originally going to use blue. Oops, get on there. They're not sticking at the free edge. What if we do striping tape in two rows and then put gems through it in between or something? Let me try the purple ones instead. Take those off. Let me, I mean blue, not purple. <clears throat> See which one I actually like better. All right, so let me thank you. It's like a piece of tape that's like peeling off of this. All right, there we go. And all of a sudden my TV came back. Oops. I'm going to have to put down some base code or something. All right, so what if we do them on the diagonal tab? Gems in between. Maybe we'll do one up higher, one down lower on the diagonal. So two pieces of striping tape. I'm going to get, I'm going to put base on to get it to stick. Except I don't really know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this one up near the top, right? Doesn't make a difference really what color I put on. They both kind of look the same over the purple. I didn't want it that high up though. Let's go a little further down. All right. Tweezers, quick. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do that one there. The next one, we'll leave a little space in between. Enough of the gems and enough to see the striping tape, right? Are you talking to me, Tara, or are you talking to Brandis? But that's what you were thinking. If it was me, that would be super awesome <laughs> if you were thinking this too. And that means you're agreeable to it. Okay, I'm gonna trim off the excess uh, tape here. All right. I forgot that this tape has like a little give, so you can even like curve it up a little, but it's too late. I already stuck it on there. Awesome. Okay. 
So then let's try the next one. We'll go a little lower. Let's see how this works. I'm just using the um, pusher end of my um, tweezers to press down the tape so that it does lay flat because it's, it keeps coming up over here. Okay. Let me cut the excess. I might have to put down a little more base because it's still coming up. Trim here. I don't think the angle is good enough. It's not the right angle. It's like less slanted. I want it more slanted. Alright, that I was able to just like fix it. <laughs> so we'll just leave it like that. Okay, one more piece of tape. Okay, looks good. I wonder if I could take this and kind of make it come up together at the top there. Yes. How about that, Tara? Something like that, where they connect. Perfect. All right. I'll show you guys in a sec what we got, what they look like right now. I tried to do one up higher and one down lower. It's not super noticeable, but you can tell. So now gems. I think I want to go with the darker purple because I don't want it to like match exactly, you know. Mm. Let me see if I can get anything. Let me get some gel or something on these. I just want to see if this color is gonna look okay. I think so, yeah. Let's use it. And I'm actually going to use, I have some uh, gel right here. Mm, I'm just going to use a cuticle stick, I think, to put it in there. This gel worked really well the last time I used it, so. I'm just kind of putting a stream of it. Oh, a stream is not the right word, the right word, but um, a line of it kind of going through, you know. All right, let's see what we can do.
This one's upside down. Flip. I think I can fit one more on this finger. So I'm just going in diagonal and I'm trying to stay in the center of the line. How's that, Tara? I'm going to fix the tape. It's kind of going off doing its own thing right now. Guys, I was having so much anxiety back in July. Remember, I couldn't think of, like, a mani to do. And today, I just came up with this on the spot. So, I feel, I'm definitely feeling a lot better, a lot more like myself, you know. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can fit one more gem or if that's going to be it. Let's see. Fran said you can take me Sunday, huh? I don't even think he heard me. All right. I think I should have made them even inst instead of they just look like I screwed them up, like the stripes and then the rhinestones, but whatever. All right, let me just make sure nothing slipped. Okay. In the lamp. Actually, let me put some of this gel down under the striping tape if I can get any. It's not holding it really. I think I'll have to go back in with dip base or something. All right, I'm carrying. Oh, thank you, Brandis. You're always so sweet. <laughs> you are a softie because you didn't even let Jamie get on your nerves. <laughs> I mean, and then, like, if I couldn't think of a man, it was like the closer it got to 11 o'clock, the more anxiety I would get, you know. Um, but I have had no problems the last couple weeks, you know, like, think figuring out a man need to do the way it normally is for me, you know. It's 129 minus 70. <laughs> 129 minus 69. All right, so that was 60 seconds, right? Now. Now for this tape. I got to get some dip base under here. 
There we go. I think I got it. Good. Got a little one over here. I'm wondering if I can. Right, I gotta do this one too. Super hard to get under these little tight spaces, especially at the sidewall. Press it down in his thing. Very um awkward looking, I think. <laughs> but whatever. It's hard for me to come up with gemstone placement and different ways to use striping tape. And yeah, now. I might put something just going across my thumb if I can get something to stick on it. I love my off center X's, those are fun. That doesn't want to stay. All right, nope, I'm leaving it alone. So these are going to get gel top coats, but the rest are going to get dip. Because um, I'm pretty sure Activator takes off the color of um, the striping tape. So I'll activate the two glitter nails plus the thumb. This is a different gel. This isn't the model ones that I usually use that dries to like a no wipe finish or whatever. Um, this one, I believe, has a sticky finish, but I don't remember. Let's get our Cosmic 2-in-1 gel top coat. Carefully over these nails. That looks pretty good. I do have a little lifting over here. All right, hopefully it stays. Lifting of striping tape in case you didn't get what I meant. Not nail lifting. My striping tape is not sticking on one spot here. I'm going to try and see if I can put my 
push this down and then oh i know i have a one of these Mm. Hmm. Huh, sticking up now. I mean, it's not sticking up. I got this off a of team of real cheap. Mainly, I just wanted to make sure that that was going to be staying down. And it is. Okay, I'm going to put them in the lamp and just give them like a 60 second cure. And then we'll top coat our other nails and be done. You got the design, Tara? I'll, I can send you pictures after I do them and edit them. It takes me like 45 minutes at least though to take them and edit multiple pictures and stuff. Tara, feel free to do your gems and striping tape differently if you don't like how mine are. You know what I mean? Don't feel like you gotta match it if you don't like it. All right, here we go. Wipe off the other nails that we had activated, right? And we're going to do uh, two layers of dip top coat. These are the Cryval Nails Dip Liquids. They work great. I love her liquids. Okay, so I'll just give them a minute just to um, let that top coat set briefly before we go in and do another. Do one of my gems move? It looks like a gem. Now, oh, whatever. We should have kept going with the gems, did like a swirl or something. <laughs> oh, you're working on this Manny now, Tamara? Okay. I'll get him to you as soon as I can. I can send you the picture even before I edit it, you know what I mean? So at least you see what it looks like. Okay, and so after we get the second layer of top coat on, close it up. Just going to wait a couple of minutes for them to dry. This is what they look like. It's a cute enough design. Not my best work, but it's cute enough. Oh, okay, Tower. Awesome. I think if um, Tara and I have more time to put our heads together, that I could have come up, or we could have come up with a uh, better design. Still using the striping tape and the gems. I like that. Um... But I should have either just put them both in the same place on the nail or made it more um, farther apart. You know what I mean? This one farther up high and this one, or at least this one lower. I think instead it just looks like I screwed up and didn't put them in the same place. And not that it was intentional, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, I should have went lower. Dang it. If I do a picture like this or something, maybe it won't be noticeable. <laughs> oh, what sleeve to use today, you guys, huh? Ooh, court's back in session. Figures right when my live's over. My friend Jess had made me this one. I never use it, though. I only ordered one from her. I was supporting her, you know. Maybe I can use my purple. Just to bring out more of the purple. I might do purple. It's like all these hairs on me. On my accent nails. Huh. What are you listening to? Yeah. This is what you will continuation of what you were watching this morning. Uh, we got that one. I think I'm gonna use the purple. I'm gonna use my full for me cuticle oil from Dip With Me. This one and the crisp apple cider, although I really like the spice pumpkin or pumpkin spice too from a pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch from Nails Truly. I love that one. I love the crisp apple cider from Nails Truly. And I love this fall for me. Those are probably going to be the three you're going to see me using most of the fall. I have another one, too, called Trick or Treat from Nails Truly. Kind of smells like candy, I believe. Yeah, it does. It smells good. She's got a lot of oils, you guys. A really wide variety. And like I said, they're different from, from the other oils on the market. Hers are like a dry oil. That absorbed really fast. So if that's something you would be into, definitely check it out. Use my code Tara15. Alright, let's go with silver jewelry today. Ah, uh, this one will probably go good, my Looney Loo ring. That one, it matches so good. I think I'm gonna use that one. This sleeve is the grape soda sleeve from Looney Lou Designs. She is on Etsy. Tara 10 is the code to save there. And she always comes out with seasonal ones and stuff, too, so keep an eye out. I'm sure she'll be having some new fall uh, release releases. All right, here is the finished manicure using Pandora and Magical Enchantment from Crival Nails. Let me put that on there. I am not 100% happy with the gem placement and the striping tape. Um, I wish the differential was more, but that's how I did it, you know. I still think it's cute. These colors are gorgeous. This glitter is magic. It is. It's really beautiful. So, thank you all for being here on this lovely Friday with me. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a really nice weekend. And... 
cross your fingers for me. If if I could put you guys all on like a, a speaker right now, I'd tell you to yell to Nick, cook on the grill for your wife and kids this weekend. It's Labor Day. <laughs> all right. Have a wonderful afternoon. I'll be talking to you guys. Bye.